There's a yellow marker on the tree, but look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Holy moly. That's a whole different look. Uh, you know, I've got my eyes balls on the ground still, but uh, definitely a, a trail worth hiking. Boy, I tell you, this is absolutely astounding to be back into here. And this is wintertime. I can't imagine what this would be like in the summer. A lot of spiders, I'm sure. <laughs> but look at this. Isn't that great? Let's just get a panoramic. I'm just going to be nice and quiet. So I was correct. That's the trail that went off to the right. So we've done done a loop. And that's called George Duty's Trace when we first got on the trail. And so we just came from that direction. So this is going to take me back to the car. So I'm going to look at the uh, sign when we get back there. That'll be the last clip on the video so that we can see what we've uh, cut out of the trail. Because we did the whole loop, which was good. Um, I did want to get this little hole on the video. Because <laughs> somebody actually went through the trouble of putting a little uh, palm... Uh, piece down in there now like i said if you're if you were a backpacker or just wanted to come in here camping wouldn't this this would be a fantastic spot to put up a tent and enjoy the kala national forest and uh hell you could even if you brought some some firewood with you you could even have a fire down in there uh so because that'd be perfectly safe you're not going to catch anything on fire uh if you really wanted to get secluded you could go back in there that'd be cool all right, so we'll, let's wait till we get to the sign. That'll be the final clip on the video. Sorry for taking so much video, but it was just so f freaking beautiful. You know, I, it's not often I get to hike a trail like this. Of course, I, you know, not a single person, just me out here, as usual. Uh, and like I said, it is a it is a haul to get here. You, you, if, if you're getting 22 miles to the gallon, you're going to spend some money to get out here. You know, me getting 85 miles to the gallon, it, it didn't cost me that much. Uh, like I said, most of it was on electrical anyway. And that's a that's another thing i'm not seeing my electric bill going up uh by recharging that battery in the car you know the hybrid um plug-in hybrid i should say the toyota prius prime so uh let's let's uh let's see what we knocked out today we'll get the uh, get the clip on the on the sign to see what trail we just hiked well we got a late start but i'm gonna tell you what <laughs> i've had my fill of hiking today so look at the, this is what we've knocked out we're parked here we came out this trail here. We made the turn up to the, well, it doesn't even show the sinkhole on the map, which doesn't make much sense to me. And then we came back on this right here. So when we come back, uh, well, there's a, I don't know if there's a place to park here. And then here it says the Juniper Springs Recreation Area. Oh, that, yeah, okay, I know, I, that's, that's on 40. Okay, so here's SR19. So we came up to right here and this is, so you could, we could park here. It's uh, $8 to park uh, unless you have a, a park pass and then it's only $4 and they'll keep an eye on your car. Um, you do take a risk parking your car here. Uh, you know, all it takes is, a, what we call them ticks in, the, in Michigan. And then this, look at this guy here. Now, I'm gonna just give you guys a little tip. Uh, you notice how I pulled that thing way up there so that, you know, some idiot comes back here, they won't hit my car. Well, look at here. So when I back out, he's parked his car. There's only one car in the whole damn parking lot, and he's parked it in a spot where, I, you know, I, if I wasn't paying attention and it was dark outside, I'd just back right into him. Why, why not park over here? You know, I'm just showing you anyway. But uh, this, uh, this, th this has got to be the Florida Trail coming through here, I suppose, coming across. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know because it doesn't show uh, 314 on the map so I'm not sure if this is the section of the Florida Trail that I've got to get in uh, that might be the next hike uh, I'm just glad we got this knocked out man I am tired I am tired it'd be nice to come up here and keep going straight and then maybe just come up to here and then hike back but that's a that's a long hike that'd be 4.3 plus 1.8 miles uh, if you could get up to the Hopkins Prairie campground I bet well since there's a trailhead there maybe we could uh, We'll see if we come up 19. 
I'm not sure how you would get to that trailhead. Uh, well, here's Northeast 77th Street. Yeah, I wish these maps were a little bit better. Maybe I'll go home and try to figure out another place to park to get on this trail here rather than coming back to this trail there because you see we'd have to walk 4.3 miles before I could even make another video. So, all right, man. Well, no bears, no snakes, no spiders. Did see a, a cool bird. I wanted to get him on the video, but uh, unfortunately he was just too far away. Wouldn't have, wouldn't have come out very good. So that's it for the uh, yearling trail. Now, now, supposedly there's a cemetery. I'm going to go back and look at this map myself. I can't believe they don't show these things on the map. There's supposed to be a cemetery somewhere. I don't know if that, uh, and I didn't, didn't, we didn't get to see that. And uh, we did see the sinkhole. Um, so that was cool. All right. Peace out. Stay free. Let's let's do let's just go on over here. I'll do the mantra real quick. It's uh, good to live in the free Republican state of Florida where we have no vaccine mandates, we have no jab requirements, we have no lockdowns, all the kids are in school, we have no mask requirements. Under the great leadership of the brilliant Governor DeSantis. Peace out, stay free. So I came a ways down or north of uh, the yearling trail and I came to this but it looks like the road kind of flattens out here and it says that the Pat's Island let's get the sign here <clears throat> it says that the um, the Pat's Island trailhead is two miles down that dirt road now can I get a Toyota Prius Prime down that dirt road I don't know I'm gonna give it a try it's only two miles. Let's see what we find. If we can find that trailhead, that might be the next hike. We can come back there and then maybe hike straight down the Florida Trail to get to the uh, the campground or camp at the campground and just come up to here. Um, anyway, I'm more into day hikes. Uh, I do want to I, I do want to do some camping, and but that's mainly when we're going to be striking out to places that uh, you know like you know a couple couple three hours away. You know you don't want to drive three hours for a day hike and then come back. You know. This is only an hour from my house, so I think we should just stick to the day hikes on this portion. But uh, this will be another section of the Florida Trail that we can get out very easily. Uh, let's go down this dirt road and see what happens. So I've adjusted the white balance to 6,500, and there's that bird I was telling you about. So I've just come a ways down the dirt road. I don't think I've traveled two miles yet, but I came to this. I don't know if this is the beginning of a tr trail or... I don't, it looks to me like it's just a place to camp if you wanted to come out here. Let's see. But you know, you got these big sticks there. Looks like somebody's had a fire. I don't know if that's a trail or not, or just like a dirt road. Huh. But let's keep going here. See, look at the trash. Left the beer cans here. Gosh dang it, people. Why can't people pick up and. So anyway. Hopefully the because it, it's getting kind of dark and uh, I'm gonna keep going. I don't think this is the trail I don't know what this is supposed to be It would be a place you could come and hike, but let's you know, look at all the beer cans. God dang it Maybe someday I'll bring a trash bag and pick that crap up So but let's um, by the way the dirt road is is passable. I did uh, scrape the bottom at one point Because <laughs> you can see look look how low the, the Prius Prime is to the ground now you could bring a motorcycle back here. I was thinking that Honda ADV, because um, the sand's not too deep. I, you know, this would be a fun motorcycle ride. Uh, but let's keep going. I, I want to find this trailhead and, and see what what it looks like. Well, I almost drove past it because <laughs> the sign is actually because I came down the road from this direction, and uh, I don't know where this road goes. I guess most people must travel it from the other direction, I suppose. So anyway, I, this is the this is the actual parking lot. You, you know, you'd think they put that sign on both sides. I almost drove right past it. But let's show you the, I was looking for the trail. I was going, where the hell is the trail, man? <laughs> so once you get into this little parking lot, there it is, uh, right there. And so let's, uh, let's just go briefly down the trail just a little bit just to see what what it looks like because this could be the next hike um the thing i don't get well maybe you know you know what this might be just a connector 
over to the Florida Trail. I've seen that before. Because you know what, what's weird is the trail ends right here at the parking lot. So I'm guessing that's just a connector to get to the Florida Trail. And this would be your parking area because you can see there's no, no other trail here. And it wasn't that, you know, it, it said two miles. I, I was only doing about 12 miles an hour down that dirt road because I'm in a, the Prius Prime. Um, but it, it was it definitely passable for a car or even a um, my Honda ADV motorcycle. It's, uh, I would take the dirt road on further just to see where it goes. Well, it's getting kind of late. Yeah, what the heck, let's, let's go on down that dirt road. Maybe it'll connect to something. Because I don't understand why that sign is facing that direction rather than this direction towards SR19, because SR19 is this way. All right, let's, let's just keep going. So I was right. There's the, I think that's the connector to that parking lot. And here's the, here's the Florida Trail going this way. Um, let's come down here and look at the sign. Closed to hunting and trapping. Dogs, guns, or trapping devices are not allowed. So this is the Florida Trail. Hiking Trail was built and maintained by volunteers. Oh, 877-HIKE-FLA. Or um, floridatrail.org. Okay, I'm, I'm glad I got that on the video because that's and those. So here's FR46. Remember, we were seeing that on the Yearling Trail. So let's just take a look. I think this sign. So this uh, this this is the Juniper, Juniper Prairie Wilderness, so Kala National Forest. Okay, so let's see where we are. So we're right. Um, okay, so we're right here. And we just did this this whole loop today. So yeah, we could park here and hike down. Well, it says, uh, well, that'd be a, <laughs> maybe just hike down to Hidden Pond and then we can park here at Juniper Springs Recreation Area and hike up to here. So that's two day hikes right there. So we've gone through a whole battery. <laughs> Good thing I bought extra batteries for the GoPro, huh? All right, so what I was saying is we're right here at Pat's Island Trailhead. I don't know, I guess maybe this is the dirt road and it's gonna go this way and come all the way down to the to the campground, I guess. I'm not gonna travel it. I don't know. But I would like to hike up to the, well, I'm gonna try to drive up here. I'm gonna come out to 19 and go up to the next uh, road that I see and uh, see if we can find uh, find this campground. Now that would be worth though, because that's a bit, that's almost an hour and a half or two hours from my house. And so you could camp, we could camp here and then pick up the Florida Trail going uh, going north um, through the uh, through the Akala Forest here. Um, anyway, let's uh, let's get going. Please help keep bears wild by not approaching or feeding them. Kind of like the gators, you know, don't feed the gators. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Somebody left a poop bag here for for the rangers to pick up. I, I'm sure they, they appreciate that. <clears throat> All right. So this is FR46. I'll look that up when I get home. All righty. Let's, uh, let's go down SR19 a, a little further. I'm going to turn, turn the car around, go back down the dirt road, because now that we know the Florida Trail, we can pick it up right here. This would be, um, this would be a fun hike. This would be a fun hike. Looking forward to it. So coming north on uh, SR19, <laughs> once again, <laughs> I don't know why the, the sign faces uh, north to south rather than, and why not put one on the other side? So I, luckily I saw this on the side of the road. I said, well, let me see what this sign says. It says, so here's the Hopkins Prairie, but look, on the other side, <laughs> no, so this is Northeast 77th Street, right off of uh, North Highway 19. So I'm gonna ride down here and let's just take a quick look at this campground and that'll be it for today. So I've been driving down this uh, <clears throat> dirt road for about 15 minutes. I don't know where this campground is, but you can see that's, that's the road there. And uh, boy, it looks like somebody had a fire right here. Maybe they were camped right there, some hunters maybe. And then the road just keeps on going. So I don't know if we're gonna find this campground or not, but I'm gonna give it another mile or two and, uh, and then I've gotta turn around and get out of here. I don't wanna be driving this dirt road in the dark. 
although it wouldn't matter that much. I mean, but there are some uh, huge potholes along this thing that I've hit. You know, Prius Prime is not a, it's not four wheel drive. That's for doggone sure. All right. <clears throat> so it was worth coming down this dirt road because <clears throat> I did figure, you know, here's, here's where the Florida Trail crosses it. So I don't know where this campground is. So I guess uh, what we'd have to do is hike uh, north from the Pat, Pat's Island there because it showed the campground along the Florida Trail. So I don't, I don't get it. I, I don't know where this uh, Hopkins campground is. Uh, you can see the orange marker on the tree. And this would be, uh, you know, this would be another place you could uh, day hike up to here. And uh, you could see, you could park a car right here, you know, and, and pick up the Florida Trail off of this road. Um, so we're, we're getting a lot of day. <laughs> it's Central Florida is something else, isn't it? I mean, you can day hike here forever, man. I mean, I'm telling you, it's just, uh, it's just incredible. So literally, you know, just park the car right here and get on the trail, continuing north uh, through the Akala National Forest. Um, but uh, let's, I'm gonna go just a ways further. Now there's some spots on this dirt road where I could get stuck in the Prius Prime and I'd be out here for the night. Of course, I got a sleeping bag in the car. Um, and uh, I could definitely, that's, that's what I love about that hatchback with the Prius Prime. I can always just, uh, I got the bicycle in there, of course, but I could just throw the bicycle out and then just sleep in the back of the car if I had to. Uh, you know, of course, there's no cars coming down this road. <laughs> <laughs> you might see one at, eventually, you know, if I got stuck back here. But uh, anyway, that but the, I just saw this. I wanted to get it on the video. I can't believe it. The Florida Trail comes comes in right here. So this is another place to pick up the Florida Trail going north. Um, you know, like I said, I going west I, on the Florida Trail is is a piece of cake, you know, and and there's no danger. But you know, you're hiking through here. You got bears and snakes and well, spiders. Uh, you know, you never know. I mean, because we are deep, deep. I mean, I've been I've been driving for about oh I don't know uh, 30 minutes down this dirt road, uh, and I got to get out of here at some point. But I wanted to find that campground because I think it'd be awesome to camp back here and, and pick up the trail. Let's let's go a ways further, and then I got to just call it a day. So I saw my first deer, and <clears throat> just thought I'd kind of show you what we're seeing going down the road here. It's uh, quite beautiful, actually. I'm would love to just come back and just you know. Uh, this is the thing I love about Central Florida. I mean, you know, if, if you're getting 85 miles to the gallon, you can just get out here and, you know, drive around in the Akala National Forest. I mean, but I'm going to turn around right here. But uh, let's, uh, so this is uh, 104, whatever that means. But look at the, uh, oh, there's a, there's a, there's a car up there. Huh. I don't know what's, but look at that prairie. Isn't that beautiful? Let's go say hi to this guy. Hold on. So I'm just moseying along and it's, look at this, it's like a boat ramp. That comes down into this uh, marshy area. I guess you could kayak out there. Boy, this is quite beautiful. I don't even know where I'm, I'm deep, deep in the Akala National Park. Look at here, somebody's camping across the way over here. Boy, I tell you, that'd be a hell of a campsite, wouldn't it? But look at this. I mean, this, this would be an awesome place to visit. Looks like somebody else is camping over here. And that's the beauty of the Kyla National Forest is you can come out here. So I hope I don't get shot, but I did want to ask this person if they know where the campground's at, because that's that was the whole goal of coming back this way. But I never expected to run into this. That's astounding, isn't it? Hopefully the video is going to turn out okay because it's getting quite dark at this point. Look at the uh, look at the sky here with the colors. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it's just me tooling around. You know, when you get 85 miles to the gallon, you can do stuff like this. You know, this is what I really enjoy. All right, they're getting ready to leave. Let's see if I can. 